This is News Trail, your daily dose. Hello there and thanks for connecting. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to News Trail this Monday, 9th August 2021. I am Maditola Kayode. You're welcome. The Senate says it is not in a position to recommend or propose creation of any state unless there's a compliance with the provision of Section 8 of the 1999 Constitution of the Federal Republic as amended. The banking report of a list of proposed states, Senate spokesperson Ajibola Bashiru says the report is a misunderstanding of the decision reached by the Senate Committee on the review of the 1999 Constitution. Several reports had suggested the Senate told INEC to conduct Conduct a referendum for the creation of the new states, a move it said it had taken to respect the genuine desire of Nigerians. Nigerian Christians now have additional Holy Land designated for annual pilgrimage. It is the Hashemite Kingdom of Jordan, and for the very first time, the first batch of pilgrims for Nigeria touched down at the Holy City and were received by His Majesty King Abdullah II. Nigeria's ambassador to Jordan, His Excellency Ambassador Farouk Yabo, Reverend Sam Kana, and other consulate staff were on ground to welcome the pilgrims at the Queen Alia International Airport assuring them of a well-meaning stay in the kingdom. Jordan has Christian and Muslim sites, as His Majesty King Abdullah is the custodian of both religious sites. On this trip, they'll be visiting Mount Nebo, where God showed Moses the Promised Land, the River Jordan, Herod's Palace, Lot's Cave, and many other historic sites. The pilgrimage is expected to continue over summer. The Olympic flame doused on Sunday, signifying the end of the global event that held without spectators and transformed by the global pandemic. After postponing the Tokyo 2020 Games for a year, organizers say the event would serve as a symbol of world triumph over the pandemic. The ceremony, although lacking last year, gave athletes something of a glimpse of everyday Tokyo life as the Olympic Stadium was transformed into a park with grass, buskers, and BMX riders. The scene was created so the visitors could experience Tokyo. The president of the International Olympic Committee thanked the Japanese people and acknowledged the difficulty of staging the Games during the pandemic. And that's it on News Show for today. Many thanks for connecting. Please do not forget to like, comment, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel at Detola Coyote. And always remember, when life happens, do not forget to continue living. Have a fantastic and fruitful week ahead.